Morning everybody. So t this morning we find ourselves in the shop on a beautiful day. My god, it's pretty outside. Uh, it's nice, it's warm, sunny, uh, just kind of a perfect, perfect spring day, uh, which is why we're in the shop. Well, spring's coming and it's pretty and it's nice outside. That also means mowing season is almost here. And uh, for those that don't live in Ohio and realize what mowing season means, uh, it means that you're mowing at least once a week uh, for the whole season, for the whole spring, summer, and fall. You don't stop mowing until mid-November normally. Which is why we're here. We got some new mower blades that we got to put on the belly mower of the tractor. Uh, I haven't actually taken the blades off of this belly mower in probably five years. And what I've been doing is just raising the whole thing up with the bucket and then crawling underneath it and uh, sharpening the blades with the angle grinder. But the tips are finally curved off. It's time. Um, and yeah, I got to do it. So that's what we're into this morning. And uh, let's see if I can't do this. It's going to be a little bit tricky, I think. All right. So I thought I'd show you my setup here. So what I got is I got the, the belly mower sitting on the uh, bucket of the tractor. I believe that's pretty secure. I don't believe it's going to go anywhere. I've got a ratchet strap tied to the post of the barn, the post of the shop. And I got it attached to the bottom part of the, the old blade. I got my ratchet here so that when we put pressure on it, the ratchet strap should keep it tight and theoretically pull this nut off. I know I'm going to need extra leverage, so I went and grabbed my pipe uh, to give me more leverage. So let's see if we can break this thing off. I don't know. Let's give it a shot. All right, so I had to change my ratchet strap system. I had to change my ratchet system up a little bit. Uh, so I actually attached the ratchet right to itself right to the, the other blades on the lower deck so that it's pulling against each other and not against the bar and pulling the whole thing sideways. Little oversight, let's see if we get it. All right, so we got the old uh, blades off. As you can see, the corners are gone at this point. So every time you made a pass, there was a little strip of grass that wouldn't get cut. I did go ahead and take an extra minute and just scrape off some of the old grass uh, that was just sitting up on top of the deck. Figured since I had it here, why not? Um, yeah, get ready to put the new ones on and uh, We'll be good to go for the season. All right, let's go.
We got cleaned up a little bit and we're actually heading to the gym. I've never actually been to the gym, but Jane recently got us memberships to the Planet Fitness, I think it is. And uh, part of your membership fee is you get access to a, a trainer. Kind of quote unquote a personal trainer. I'm going to get an evaluation today. As some of you may or may not know, I got a bum shoulder. I got a shoulder that doesn't really work. Uh, had surgery about a year ago on it. And ever since then, I haven't really been able to use it. And therefore, have not been doing any workouts really whatsoever consistently. So we're going to go see if he has uh, some workarounds. That little potential problem of mine. Here we go. Good morning, everybody. So today we're on our way to a couple stores. Uh, first, we're going to Charm Harness and Boot in Charm, Ohio. Uh, and then we're going to the Painted Cowgirl in Greenwich, Ohio. Uh, we're off. It's pretty early in the morning. <laughs> and for those that are concerned, the gym was cool. I liked it. Uh, I can see me going back. Uh, some. <laughs> but wait, anyway, we're off. Uh, let's go visit these stores because they're pretty cool stores. Let's go. It's got two fiberglass shanks. These okay. are actually windows that you can actually see in a little bit. I see. Uh, but yeah, for some more medial. So we just got done with Painted Cowgirl. So we have got done with Charm Harness and the Painted Cowgirl just now. Amy, the owner of Painted Cowgirl, didn't want us to film the store today uh, because they're changing seasons. They're changing everything over from cold weather season to warm weather season. And she was afraid that we wouldn't get it in the, get our store filmed in the, in the best light. So we'll have to come back and, and get that done. But anyway, we're off. Had a great day. Really, really good. And uh, let's go. Morning everybody. Uh, so today uh, we are off to a four day event here in Columbus, Ohio called the Equine Affair. Uh, it's pretty exciting depending on your perspective I guess but uh, but it's actual work uh, we got to do today. Um, so that being said uh, I'm leaving right now. I'm not taking the DLSR camera. Um, it's just kind of big and clunky and it's hard to hard to hide and put away when I when I do have to work. So we're going to try an experiment today. We're, we're going to try to record everything on the cell phone. Uh, it's a new fancy cell phone. 
S10, I think they call it, yeah, uh, Samsung. But anyway, it's supposed to have a really good camera, and uh, so I'm not worried about the image quality. I'm a little bit concerned about um, how to get the information off the camera onto the computer, since I've never done that, but uh, we'll, we'll, get, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But we're off. We're going to stop at the cleaners on the way, of course, and uh, Equine Affair. I think y'all will like it. <laughs> Let's go.